Plain High School has called off classes again for tomorrow as Tulsa police identify the 17 year old shot and killed Friday night at the McLean Miami High School football game. TPD says Taryn Yarbrough died when someone fired several shots hitting him and three others. Two News Oklahoma's Shay Smith spoke with Tulsa Police Chief Wendell Franklin about the incident and has the latest on the investigation. Tulsa police revealed today at least two innocent bystanders were shot during the incident. A 21 year old, a 20 year old woman and a nine year old girl. They were treated for gunshot wounds at the hospital and have been released, but police are still looking for the shooter. It's something Tulsa's police chief says should not happen at a high school football game. You think that you're safe, um, security is there, police are there, and, uh, and then all of a sudden as the game concludes there's uh, a barrage of gunfire. This is video from McLean High School's homecoming game Friday night. Players are seen shaking hands, then scattering. We know that there was some sort of, of uh, altercation between a group of students or young people uh, just outside the ball game and they ended up having gunshots fired. Detectives are going through surveillance video and picking up shell casings to determine exactly how many shots were fired. We went out with our crime scene people. We wanted to go back over the area, uh, look for additional evidence and try to get, you know, with the light of day, try to get a better idea of what we were looking at in the videos. Tulsa Police Chief Wendell Franklin says TPS security was inside the stadium, but the shooting happened outside of it, something he says is a problem. The incidents don't take place in the facilities, they always seem to take place in a parking lot and that's where people gather uh, and that's uncontrolled area and that's exactly what happened here. He says his officers work with school police and have a good relationship with them, but he says more can be done in an instance like this. There definitely needs to be some improvements made. Uh, uh, we'll be working with TPS to see exactly how we can facilitate and, and assist them in doing that. Now, Lieutenant Watkins says they believe they are looking for just one shooter. He says right now they don't have any suspect information that they're ready to share. Shay Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.